Hi, today we are going to learn how to convert improper fraction to mixed fraction and mixed fraction to improper fraction. So let's first revise what is improper fraction. Improper fractions are fractions where numerator is greater than denominator. They are called improper fractions. That means the fractions like 5 by 4 or 7 by 5, they are improper fractions. Right? Here, numerator is 5 and denominator is 4. So, numerator is definitely greater than 4. So, this is improper fraction. And similarly, this is 7 out of 5. So, this is also improper fraction because this fraction also has numerator bigger than the denominator. Right? So, if we take the first fraction, this fraction, how can we represent in pictures? For this, again, if we take a circle, this is the circle. And in how many parts we have to divide this circle? We have to divide this circle into four parts, right? Why we have to divide this into four parts? Because in this fraction, denominator is four. And denominator actually tells us or represents how many equal parts we have to make. So, since the denominator over here is 4, so I have divided this circle into 4 equal parts. Right? Yes. And what does this numerator say? This numerator says how many parts out of these 4 parts you have taken. Right? So, how many parts you have taken? You have taken 5 parts. Right? So, to represent these 5 portions, we have to shade 5 portions of this circle. But we have only 1, 2, 3 and 4 portions. So, what about the 5th portion? Yes, 5th portion they are actually taking from another similar circle which is divided into 4 parts like this one. This is the same circle. And again, I have divided it into four equal parts. And since here we have already taken four parts out of four. And to make five, fifth part we will take from this second circle. So, this is one, two, three, four and five. So, from first circle we have taken four out of four. And from second circle, we have taken 1 out of 4, right? So, this plus this is actually 5 out of 4, right? And what it actually is? From first circle, we have taken 4 out of 4. That means we have taken one whole circle, right? And from the second circle, we have taken 1 out of 4. So, that means this can be represented as 1 plus 1 by 4, right? Or in terms of mixed fraction, we write this as 1, 1 by 4, isn't it? Yes. So, this is the meaning of this fraction 5 by 4 and this is how it can be represented into mixed fraction. But if you have some big fraction, every time you cannot draw this picture and convert improper fractions into mixed fraction, so, there is a shortcut. What is the shortcut? You take the numerator, which is 5 in this case, and divide it by denominator, which is 4 in this case, and 4 ones are 4, right? And then if we subtract, we will get remainder as 1. So, number you get in quotient, that will be written here, and this remainder will become the numerator of the proper fraction part. So, this will become 1 by 4. And this will be the conversion of improper fraction into mixed fraction. Right? This way, we have understood how this comes drawing pictures. And in this way, we have understood how to convert an improper fraction into mixed fraction without drawing pictures, right?
So I'll take one more example. Suppose if we take 7 by 5, 7 by 5 is an improper fraction, right? And this can also be written as 5 plus 2 divided by 5, right? And this can be written as 5 by 5 plus 2 by 5. And here this 5 by 5 actually represents one whole. So this can be written as 1 plus 2 by 5, right? Or it can be written as 1, 2 by 5. This will be the mixed fraction conversion of 7 by 5, right? And let's check if we reach the same mixed fraction by division method also. So here we have to divide 7 by 5. This is numerator, 7 is numerator and 5 is denominator. So 5 ones are 5. And then we get 2 as remainder. So this fraction can be written as quotient is 1. Then remainder becomes the numerator of the mixed fraction and denominator will be as it is 5. This is our whole denominator. So here also by using this division method, we are actually reaching the same mixed fraction as we reached over here. Right? So why I am telling you all these different different methods? I am telling you all these different different methods so that you can understand the concept and the actual meaning of these fractions. Right? And now let's learn how to convert a mixed fraction into improper fraction. So how we reached here? Let's take the same example. We have reached to this mixed fraction which is 1, 2 by 5. How we have reached there? Originally we had a fraction like 7 by 5 which is an improper fraction because the numerator is 7 which is bigger than the denominator 5. So what we have done? We have divided the numerator by the denominator and the quotient comes here in the front and this remainder becomes the new numerator of the mixed fraction, right? So how to convert this fraction into improper fraction? So to convert this fraction, we will just reverse the process, right? So what we do? First, we will multiply this 1 by 5. We will do multiplication over here. And whatever we get, we will add that to 2. So if we multiply 1 by 5, we will get 5. And numerator of the mixed fraction is 2. So this will become 7 and the denominator remains same as 5. Right? So again we have got the same fraction. So this was the conversion of mixed fraction into improper fraction. I'll take few more examples so that you understand it better. So suppose we have a mixed fraction like 2, 1 by 4. What does it mean? This means two whole objects, if we talk about circles, it's actually taking two full circles and one-fourth of the third circle. So the third circle is divided into four parts and they are taking one part out of that along with these two whole circles. Right? Yes. And if this whole thing has to be represented into improper fractions, we have to divide these circles also into four equal parts. So let this be the division. Right? So how much is this? This is 4 by 4. This will be plus. This is also 4 by 4. And this is 1 by 4. So if we add all this, we will get denominator as 4 and numerators will be added so we have to do 4 plus 4 plus 1 which will be 9 by 4. So if we talk about 2 1 by 4 the improper fraction for 2 1 by 4 is actually 9 by 4. Right? Yes. And let's see if we get the same 9 by 4 by applying 
the method which we have discussed few minutes ago. In that method what we were doing? We were multiplying the number written in the front by the denominator right and whatever we were getting we were adding it to the numerator and then we were getting a new numerator. So this is the fraction 2 1 by 4 right 2 multiplied by 4 will give you 8 right and 8 plus 1 is 9 will become a new numerator and denominator will be written as it is which is 4 right so again we have got 9 by 4 for 2 1 by 4 applying the method of multiplying the whole number by the denominator and then adding the numerator we are again getting the same fraction right so if we take one more example suppose if I take a fraction like 2 1 by 7 so what will be improper fraction for this yes we have to multiply this 2 by 7 so 2 7s are 14 plus 1 we will get 15 and denominator will be as it is which will be 7. For the mixed fraction 2 1 by 7 we are getting 15 by 7 as improper fraction right. So this was all about the conversion of mixed fraction to improper fraction and improper fractions to mixed fractions.